So today we're going to uh, <clears throat> circumcise? No, uh, castrate. <laughs> Morning everyone, this is Ranger Rob on a Ranger Rob Country Living channel. How are you? Yes, it's truly a sparkling day in Central Oregon. Going to be a warm one. Yes, we have not had our state sale yet. Our yard looks like a... Oh yeah, I don't want to tell you what it looks like. So we're overwhelmed. Got way too many things going. But today is the day that four of our piglets get uh, castrated and uh, somehow we've turned it into a party don't know how that happened so we have uh, Amy from uh, uh, Dragonfly Farm we've got John and Debbie coming by because they have pigs too which is great because I may need some help holding mama back and uh, we have Lori and Hayes from uh, Obsidian Farm in Redmond uh, who's going to teach us and show us the technique and uh, uh, we we were going to invite Dale Wiley from our podcast but he'd be in the background hurling so uh, yeah we just didn't want to embarrass him so uh, yeah <laughs> anyway that's going on this evening uh, later in the evening and today uh, obviously I gotta go feed the piglets first apologize to him ahead of time and uh, uh, go from there uh, today I think I may open this garage up we're gonna put a lot of uh, items in this garage here in the driveway and uh, I don't know if I want to do that today or tomorrow we have really good weather so I don't have to worry about stuff I have uh, some folks coming over tomorrow to help me bring some other things out here on Thursday because the estate sale starts on Friday and yes, it'll probably be the most unorganized estate sale ever. But uh, uh, with just doing what we can with, uh, it's just me and Sherry. And Sherry's working, and so it's just me. <laughs> so, all right, puppies are sitting here going, okay, Dad, let's go feed, go feed the piggies. So that's what we're going to do. Let's go feed piggies. All right, before I went to go see piggies here, Checked on uh, food and stuff for the big chickens over here. Got the greenhouse fans up and running and swamp cooler filled up. Uh, had to feed the younger chickens. Uh, quick little check on the uh, tower, strawberry towers. Uh, make sure that the tank has water in it for nutrients. And uh, then we'll go see the piggies. And by the way, for I haven't actually been telling you, but we have been getting strawberries. So, uh, yesterday I ate a lot of them, but, uh, so I tried to save a couple for Sherry. But the thing I was going to check here is make sure this tank has, uh, yep, it's good for another day. And, uh, yeah, strawberries are a little slow, but they're coming along. All right, guys, I got the pigs fed. By the way, our little piglets are starting to steal food from their mom. So next time I get a chance, I gotta go to town and get some piglet feed. But uh, I did put a little bit in a bowl over here. Uh, and if they don't eat it, mama will. Okay, next thing I gotta do is add water to all these pad paddocks here and get their wallows filled up again. And then uh, uh, treat my heat stroke and we'll be good to go. All right, guys, starting to add the water to uh, Zelda's. Uh, wow, I see uh, Maggie put on her makeup. Maggie, look at you. Hey, baby. You're looking good. Got your makeup on. Looking good. Yeah, she's a hunk of burning love. She puts on her makeup every morning just for uh, Sparky here. And uh, why well, she's getting to be a... 
a big pig. But she's sexy. But yeah. So the next thing I do is fill this uh, water up. And they keep expanding their wallow. That's yeah, fine. Keeps them busy. But it takes a lot longer to fill the wallow up. Wallow. Wallow. Well, we got the pigs watered down. Sprayed them a little bit to cool them down. And uh, the fun part later today is I got to grab a medium-sized kennel. But it's just a cage. And we're going to put them in the paddock here and try to catch the four males that need to be castrated today. But I want to leave them in the pen with their mom until we're ready. So that's the plan until we change it. But until then, I'm going to head on back to the property over here, cool down a little bit, and uh, take it from there. Hey, puppy. What you guys doing? Are you good girls? It's nice and cool right here because one of the sprinklers go here and so it's still wet. That's how the dogs keep cool too. Hi guys. Good girls, huh? Yeah, the next thing I need to work on is creating some of these signs to uh, sit out obviously on the road. So I gotta write some data on these. I like these because they're good on both sides. So uh, we'll see how it goes here. All right guys, getting later in the day. Very busy, I had some pre-estate sale buyers here today. So I spent the afternoon with a lot of them. Uh, was able to sell a lot of rocks and stuff. So it was all good for Sherry's mom. Uh, got my kids together, uh, some clean towels uh, for our table, uh, some uh, rubber gloves, some clean gloves for people if they want to help catch piglets, uh, my blades, more cleaning uh, towels uh, for the piglets, some uh, uh, the medicines or medications that we needed, uh, also some water for the people that are participating. So uh, I think we're as prepared as can be. I uh, have a cage. Um, it's a kennel, medium size, that uh, we'll use to grab the piglets. Uh, but I'm going to keep the piglets in the paddock so mom can still see them until we're ready to do this. Then we'll just grab the whole kennel and take the piglets outside of the paddock and then do what we need to do and bring each one back to mama. Uh, a couple of very clean towels uh, that we we're able to sacrifice uh, for the table and for any other kind of cleanup we might need for uh, for people and stuff too. So anyway, I think we're set to go. I need to take a table out there and catch four out of the eight pigs, uh, which are all males. And uh, that's probably going to be our biggest challenge. So hopefully I'll get some folks in here early enough to help me capture the piglets and see how well mom handles it. We got a six foot pig board to help us kind of contain the mama, we hope. Uh, but once again, once we catch them, we're just putting them in a kennel that's see-through that she can see her babies. So that's the plan so far, and we'll see how it goes. That's all, that's that's all right, guys. So a lot of our troops are here. So you guys know Gabby, and, and you don't have to be on if you don't want to. I know you've never been in a video. Uh, this is John, Dustin, Amy, Aubrey, Zoe. What is your first name? Uh, I can't. Say your name. Cutie. What is say it? Your name. Look at the camera and say your name. Help me out, guys. Ada. 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 That's why I can't remember it. And you're? Evelyn. Evelyn. And she's, her uh, mom and dad are from Obsidian Farm, right? Is a YouTube video? Yeah. You're oh. on the Ranger Rob Country Living. You're famous now, girl. Yeah. So, uh. Someday I am going to have a YouTube Oh, okay. Well, this is how we do it. I already have the name. <laughs> oh, nice. So today we're going to uh, <clears throat> circumcise? No, uh, castrate. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe I did that. So uh, I know it looks like we're having a party <laughs> taking care of some uh, boy pigs here, but um, I'll make sure it's on you. And uh, <laughs> And so we're all here to learn, right? Yes. And uh, um, Lori and Hayes 
are going to be kind of our instructors today. And so we all are kind of involved in pigs. Uh, so what better way to learn, right? Yep. That's so, right. All right, guys. Well, let's move on. So just to kind of ref uh, let you know what's going on here. This is our setup, kind of all of our stuff. We got a wash. This is for kind of washing things off. We're putting yeah. the bed Sanitizing. in. Sanitizing the scalpel between the pigs, uh -huh. and then if you need, and then wiping the pig oh. surface off. Okay, so this is what we'll use with very sanit sanitary water and bedding, right? Yeah. Okay, and then we actually, they said they like to use a stool. It just works really well to manage the piglet. So we'll be bringing them here. We are on the other side of the property. And uh, so we're hoping the squealing will keep the mama back there calm. But the first thing we're gonna do is Sherry and I are gonna go in back and see if we can gather the four piglets that are going to be, it's not the word I used before. <laughs> Um, castrated. So, okay, cool. So anyway, uh, also um, uh, the folks from the Obsidian Farm, I, I, they prefer to kind of stay in the background, so I'm not going to be throwing a camera in their face, but their daughter, she's a rock star. She's right here. So, <laughs> all right. So anyway, guys, let's go get some piglets. All right, guys. So we got the four piglets we're going to do. We're going to double check, make sure we didn't miss any. Uh, Mama was a little upset. We had a little squealing and uh, But uh, she actually did really good. She could have been worse so uh, we actually got all the piglets into the feral house and uh, Put a pig board in front of it And uh, we're just giving more food she doesn't seem to be quite as concerned as long as she has her four piglets here Sherry's double checking, make sure we didn't miss any. I see them all as girls. All right. So, uh, time to move on. We've moved the piglets to the front of the property. So, uh, we'll be closing this up, powering the fence, and uh, we'll probably shut the back gate just in case she escapes, in case she can actually hear her piglets squealing. Then we'll bring all the piglets back at the same time. But it was a little nerve wracking. We're, I can, I know we're all kind of like, whew. It's a lot of pig to have upset. All right, so uh, we're going up to the front of the property. We're kind of hoping that will keep the mom calm because there will be squealing. We're not going to film that, guys. Um, we told you what's going to happen and we'll show you what it looks like after it's done. We're not going to show you the wounds anyway, but uh, here's the part we're all going to go. Ooh. All right, so it's time. So uh, I had a couple of questions. I'm gonna let them answer. I'm not gonna put the camera on these guys. But uh, so when you have the pig, you turn them on their back. Yes. Yep. Then when you make the incision, do you cut partial sack or whole sack? Um, partial, you don't, you wanna make it as small as possible. Yeah. Test, yes, you don't want it bigger than it needs to be. Uh -huh. And you'll pop the testicle out. But you okay. have to also go through the skin. And, and then there's you a, go membrane. A, white a membrane. Membrane. Yeah. Um, so then there's obviously a cord back there. Mm -hmm. I've heard that people just pull them out, but do you cut it or do you pull it? We pull. We pull it. And that's I've seen. That's what I've seen. Uh, what other questions would you guys have? I've seen it before. Oh, yeah, I, I've seen it a long time ago, but I wasn't paying attention. Like, I may have to do this in the future. So, uh, we did get sanitary uh, scalpels here. We're just showing your hands. And uh, we, uh, I'm going to have my face right in it and see how brave I get. Are you going to want to do it? I don't know. I have to see. I want to make sure. I'm a little shakier because I'm older. But, uh, I could do the first one. Okay. And then you can watch and see. If, yeah. Sounds good. So, yeah, I mean, I, I know I need to be in it. And I I have the I have the stomach for it, guys. I can do this. I don't want to take it away from you. That's fine. <laughs> You're a rock and roll star in this. So, once again, guys, we're not showing the procedure. We're just describing and telling you way up. Here's the babies down here. And we're going to put them all back in here when they're done. 
Then we're gonna return all the babies back to Mama. Mama's doing pretty good with the four she's got. She seems pretty calm. So um, we got all extra waters. We have bacteria water, uh, Benadine, Benadine water here to wash anything we need to clean off. And uh, your husband's gonna do the first one, right? I'm gonna be in his face and I'll t let you know if I get brave enough to do it, but I'm like, we're not showing you this. So, anyway, guys. I'm gonna watch Zelda. <laughs> you're gonna watch, and Sherry's gonna be like, don't worry about babies. So anyway, so warning now, if you guys don't have the heart for it, it's okay. So, all right. All right, guys, we're going to uh, shut it off here and do the procedure. So uh, Hayes, Hayes is down here, is getting ready to pull one of the pigs. And they told me they needed a stool. I didn't realize it was the stool with a person in it. So uh, uh, <laughs> Lori's actually gonna hold them in place. Do you hold their front feet? Um, I, I put them here, their body back here, uh -huh. upside down, and then I hold their back legs right here so he can operate up Oh, front. excellent, okay. All right, so uh, here we go. Get up All right, guys, so uh, we've had a lot of great helpers here. The piglets have a... Uh, probably feel bad I actually, 24 hours. They'll be yeah, they're uh, definitely calm. Uh, I think in a couple hours I'll just be tackling. As soon as they're hungry, huh? So, uh, yeah. they say in the first 24 hours, pretty much they're going to be a little bit yeah. calm. Yeah. We're trying to, they're going to get in dirt, but that's what the protect, uh, the blue coat's for. Uh, that's what this stuff is here. And uh, that helps protect them from getting dirt in their wounds and stuff like that. Now, we've been told to look for things that, like if they're bleeding a little bit, Anything, anything poking out. Anything poking out. Anything else you can think of? So. Alright, and then uh, if so, I sh we should try to get a hold of that one. Re-blue coat it is one so, technique. Watch it closely. And watch it closely. And luckily I'm home every day, so we will check these little guys. And uh, you guys picked out two already. Which one? These two. These two right there. Huh? Jake and Bubba. And they're easy to tell. Okay. Because now I've got three of them, I can tell the names from. <laughs> All right, so for feeders, for f m males, we've got two ginger, uh, they're actually brown and black. And then we got four females that um, That's our uh, are feeders too. And one of them we're going to take too. So they did great. I want to thank Lori and Hayes for uh, teaching us how to do this. Thank you. Uh, thank I mean, you. I was right in their face and Hayes was a great uh, instructor what he was doing. And... Uh, uh, good thing we didn't have Dale here because he would have passed out. So. <laughs> Wait, I watched the last one knowing that mom was okay. All right. I watched the last one. All right. So what we're going to do now is try oh, to calmly get him back to mama. I just don't want gently. To so. Know, that's fine. And, uh, yeah. and she, by the way, this young lady right here, she I was helping uh, keep the, the babies calm, right? Yep. So. Just petting them. Yeah, so okay. while they're in her lap, she, uh, while they're on their back, she was trying to keep them calm. They actually are calmer about the surgery than they are being picked up. It's kind of interesting. All right, so we're uh, back at the, at the, uh, <laughs> I'm watching what's going on here. So they're introducing the babies back in from the back of the uh, paddock here. We can just let them come out at their leisure. If you're okay, just leave it in here. Yeah, well, right, I'm not gonna leave it overnight. There's one. Come on, come on. So they're, they're a little bit out of shape, but they're slowly coming out. We've got one more to go. Come on, baby. Fence is on, so don't touch. Don't touch me. Yeah, for mama's sake. Come on, little one. Alrighty. Well, he's probably not feeling too good. All right, so now we're going to see how Mama's reacting. She knows something happened. I'll go around to the other side so we can see how Mama's reacting. This is all new for me, too. Just said it anyway. I'll take care of it. Thank you so much. I can't thank you enough. So they're going to be a little, I imagine, sl sluggish, and Mama definitely knows they smell a little different, probably from the blue coat. And 
Looks like Mama's getting ready to roll to her side. Oh, she's sniffing them. <laughs> Very adorable. Yeah, we'll turn with the pig. So she's trying to smell which pigs were affected with the blue coat. All right, so we'll probably eventually kind of give her her free time with her, but she uh, she actually handled it really well. So we're pretty happy about that. She's probably wondering, why is everybody watching? Well guys, Sherry and I are out here kind of finishing up, monitoring the little ones. We're probably watching, touch and feel too much as other pig farmers probably don't think this is a big deal to us, but it is us because this is our first time. So we now have four little purple butts running around here. Uh, we got to kind of keep an eye on them. And uh, you kind of heard the checklist that we go through, so we will be doing that. Uh, even one of the purple butts over here is already trying to, they're actually starting to eat some solid food. So tomorrow I need to pick up some piglet food. Yeah. What they got, pig starter? Pig starter. Yeah. They said they don't. They just... Yeah, and that's what I'm kind of thinking. I think it's more of a gimmick, but uh, I got to command the mama of pig here. She was could talk to us and tell her she was a really good girl. She handled the, the split pretty well. We were, it started out pretty smooth and then it got a little havoc. Um, only because we didn't know what we really was the best procedure. But uh, anyway, everything's calm now. Uh, all, all the extra faces are uh, here, so it's nice and quiet. And now um, their family can get kind of back together and the babies can heal. And I'm sure they're going to be a little sluggish tonight. So guys, I hope the description was enough to give you an idea what happened and what we're doing. But uh, because of YouTube and all that stuff, the way we did it was appropriate. So with that note, please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos. Where share? The whole wide world. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're mentally exhausted. <laughs> so guys, have a great day and thanks for watching. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.